Hey guys, and welcome back to another Terraria special episode. Um, if you're seeing this, then that probably means you guys enjoyed the first one, and I decided to actually put this one up also. So, hope you guys enjoyed that boss fight with Cthulhu. That, as I tried to explain in the in that last video, was that was my first time fighting him, and that I'd actually been putting it off for so long because he looked like such a huge, huge, nasty bastard. Just with the mouth and the teeth, and oh my god, he's gonna kill me! So I kept putting it off and putting it off, and before I knew it, I was maxed out on everything, like weapons and armor, and... Yeah! Oh no. No, 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 get out of the lava! Uh, okay, we're gonna have to leave. Otherwise, she's gonna kill herself. Okay! We'll be right back. Damn it! <laughs> you retard! Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay then. Well, hey, since we're down here, this is as good as time as any to uh, go ahead and get our tour started. I decided to actually start a nice little mushroom farm down here. Glowing mushrooms, by the way, for anyone who is not aware. I think what I want to do in this video is kind of give you guys a little bit of tour of my world as I explained. And if you guys can see that, apparently one of my friends is also playing this game. <laughs> I could have sworn I turned that off before I started recording, but whatever. So yes, I kind of wanted to give you a tour of my world. That was one of the other things I said I wanted to do. I figured opening with the boss fight with Cthulhu would have been a bit more interesting than a tour. Um, so I guess the first thing is I have this nifty item called the Magic Mirror. And any of you who have played some of the early Zelda games probably know exactly what this does. So, yeah. My favorite thing to do with this thing, though, with the magic mirror, is I'm over here and I'm like, okay, I just was down in the caves and I've collected a whole bunch of awesomeness. As you guys can plainly see, I've been quite busy. And it's like, oh yeah, but I gotta drop off my money and the piggy bank's all the way over there. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever. Yeah! <laughs> I am so lazy! Anyway. Um, so. Until the Dryad decides to respawn, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue the tour, as I need her for another video. Anyway. This is my place. I actually started off with just this first story, and decided to do a bit of decorating, a bit of rearranging. Oh, crap. Run away! Run away! Before she kills herself. I believe if she stops doing that, uh, let's get a sword out just for the heck of it. If you get far enough down, away from the area, the world is unloaded, and so when you get back, it should reload the area, and because the Dryad has arrived, she should be in her freaking room by now. Stupid suicidal Dryad. <laughs> let's check, shall we? No, you... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to do something about that, but off screen. Let me continue my tour and let her just keep killing herself, because why not? It'll be funny. Alright, so, here we go. We've got a, a nice little water candle. It, it's a nice decoration. Apparently if you hold it, it causes mobs to spawn twice as much, or at least more often. So here we've got our nice crafting area, we got our furnace, our anvil, our workbench, and our bottle for potion making. I think something else I'd kind of like to do with this video, in addition to the tour, is maybe explain some of the things to you guys if you don't know Terraria, if you haven't, if you've been avoiding it at all costs because, oh god, it looks like Minecraft and they stole all Minecraft's ideas, they should burn in hell! Well, while it's true, we've got the crafting and we've got the, uh, the blocky world and that you can build and do all that. Building is so not the focus in this game, as you can see from my very plain rectangular house. I've literally... <sighs> ignore her. <laughs> I've literally only built enough rooms as necessary and then decorated when I got bored. So, I've already shown you the goodies chest. Down here, this, for any of you guys who actually watch... Yeah, kill yourself again. That That's great. Can I click on you? No? Okay. <laughs> For anyone who has actually seen Avidya's LPs, he's actually got a pretty good Terraria LP going for anyone interested. Uh, I actually stole the lava doormats from him, 
They're pretty cool. Although apparently the only thing it has killed so far is my Dryad, so I don't know. I've, I've got kind of mixed feelings on it right now. I've got it on both sides. The idea was that, you know, in a, during a Blood Moon or something, when the zombies come out and you are living some sort of crazy zombie movie scene, that, you know, the zombies walk up, fall in the lava, kill themselves, and hey, free loot. Always a cool thing. Um, let's see, up here, just all sorts of random randomness. Uh, all the uh, the drops and pickups I've got, every anything that's equipable or useful. As you can see, I found a lot of clouds and bottles. I actually had four of them, but I sold the, f the f second one and then just decided, what the heck, I'll keep all the others. The Star Fury, it's a pretty cool weapon if you guys have not seen it yourself. Let's see if we can get out here and give a little demo. What is equipped? Oh, I forgot. I had planned on going somewhere else to start this video, but I think this one's just going to be a little tour and walkthrough. So, the Star Fury, pick a point. Die! You can call forth the heavens. As it was forged with the fury of heaven. I like that. Um, I had a second one up here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. Oh well. Let me go ahead and pick up my hammer. Uh, and she's back to kill herself again. Yay! <laughs> uh, okay, well, I think that's really all of the house. You have literally seen everything with the house. I think it looks pretty cool, even though building is not really the focus. Now let me go ahead and show you down here. Maybe she'll spawn in her freaking room when we're down there, like she's supposed to. <laughs> so we've already seen this drop. It's a nice, nice little uh, safety drop. Works very similar to Minecraft, just water at the bottom, and you can survive a fall from any height. Or, in this... Uh, dead again. In this game, you can actually equip the Lucky Horseshoe, which I happen to like a lot. And, it negates all fall damage. Now, this next drop is going to be a little tricky, as I don't actually have a bottom. And it goes, well... Way... Way, way down. And I really hope the shadows pulsating with the light is not showing up on the recording and it's just an effect of Fraps running things at 30 frames. If it is, I apologize. That I don't think there's anything I can do as this game is... <sighs> almost killed myself there. So yes, this is the underworld. The hell of this game. And now that we're down here, I think we need a little more light, and I definitely want to have my... Oh, what is this? Grappling hook out? So... Oh! No! <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Hell is not a nice place, guys. And you haven't even seen the enemies that spawn here yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Let us be not here when the dry decides to spawn again. So, let us go ahead and re-equip some of these things and go ahead and take a tour of the rest of our world. Or my world, I should say, as this is just my own little private thing. Uh, I got bored yesterday, and one thing that I can definitely tell that, don't worry guys, I will definitely be coming back to Minecraft, and the thing that has told me is this. Ah, uh, hell. <laughs> I got bored yesterday and was like, you know what would be cool? A tunnel. And then I built the tunnel and then was like, you know what would be really cool? If it looked nice. And then I started doing well. I think I just hit my mic, I'm sorry. I just started building it out and making it look pretty. <laughs> so yes, don't worry guys, this is just something I'm doing in my free time. The Minecraft LP is definitely going to be continuing, especially now that... Things are changing a bit. I'm not going to abandon you guys like that. Um, this world, I'm actually on a medium world, so I'm probably just going to cut ahead till we get to something a little more interesting. It's just grass and trees and, well, nothing. So, see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, here we are at almost the other side of the map. Uh, this is actually where I ended up finding my dungeon. I have not been in there or even remotely come close to trying to kill Skeletron yet as you guys should find quite obvious, as I have not even 
Well, that, you guys just watched me in the last video actually defeat the very first boss, the Eye of Cthulhu. So, on the other side, we've got a bit of a desert, and then a little further along, and we'll be jumping ahead again real quick. And here we come now on to the Corruption. For anyone unaware of what the Corruption is, corruption is, it's a very nasty area filled with thorns and all sorts of purple grass. And, in general, all sorts of nasty, nasty things. Uh, <laughs> And don't fall to your death like that. It's annoying and is painful. So let me go ahead and put this back on real quick. And we can go take a look and see what is actually down here. These are called shadow orbs. You want to break them. However, until I get an upgraded pick... Can't break the rock around it. Now, however, I could go and talk to the Dryad if she would stop committing suicide. <laughs> And she sells me something called Purification Powder. And that will turn all this corrupt rock, I believe it's called Ebon Stone, into regular rock. And I can just pick it up, or pick it all just fine and... Ugh. Ugh, I hate these vine thorn thingies. They're so irritating. So yes, this is the Corruption. The Eaters of Souls live here. Now, you might be asking... Okay, Mouse, could you please click thank you? Uh, you guys might be asking yourselves, why would anyone want to come out to this evil, nasty area? Well, one... Oh, stop it, Mouse. For one, smashing shadow orbs. But why would you want to smash a shadow orb? Well, it is one of the ways in which you can actually go and fight the second boss. The second reason is that out here you tend to also find... Oh my god, these guys take so much time, and they're quite literally a waste to just sit and kill, and... So, we will say... Uh, Okay, I guess I'll show you down here. There was nothing down this one. Go away. <sighs> okay. Sorry about that. They get annoying sometimes. Anyway. Corruption. In addition to the Shadow Orbs is where you can also find Demon Altars. Think of them as crafting tables for interesting things. One thing that you can craft at these areas, and I actually I don't remember what it takes, but it is the second way of summoning... Ugh, the second boss. Anyway, I think you guys kind of get the idea, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Get the heck out of here, as those guys get really annoying. Aha! Finally! What are you doing on the first floor? I made a room for you up on top. Silly girl. <laughs> anyway, this is our Dryad, who's finally stopped deciding to commit suicide. Ah. <sighs> nice. This is actually my first time ever meeting her, so let's see if we can get sunflowers. The dirt rod. Grass seeds. I actually probably want a couple of these. How much were those? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, 20? Yeah, I'll take two. And I definitely want as many of these as I can afford at the moment. Okay, 18 then. And I'll finish it off with seeds. Alright. So, I think the only other thing to show you guys is possibly... Well, no, never mind. I was going to say I was going to show you some of the floating islands, but I tore down all the bridges. Um, ah, uh, nice. Starting to get some grass cover in here. I thought it'd look kind of cool to have a grassy field to be fighting in, instead of just all the cold hard brick. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the only thing on the far right of my map is more corruption and the other end of the map. So, 
I hope this video wasn't too long for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed. So, this has been Nocturne, and I will see you again in the next Terraria special.